there? Max? Max, is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? Please. No, please, Max, no, I'm sorry. Please don't, Max, no. letter was staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel, funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. line in a prank call, someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting, time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug, snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar.
Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. 